Hello, Doompie readers. This is Slipnir here with a little intro video from some of the new readers on the channel. I'm here with Backslasherton, the Ender Brony, and the fabulous WinR100. Fabulous! So today, <laughs> so today, we're going to uh, say a little about ourselves, so you get to know us a little more. You, you know, you get to be a little personable with. Anyway, uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to talk about today's episode, episode 424, the Equestria Games. And we may have a little fun on the way, talk about the fun things that are going on in our lives, so you get to know us a little bit better. So if that's okay with you, stay around. If not, go read some other things, because this isn't a fan fiction reading. Not yet, anyway. All right, then. So where should we begin? Uh, let's say, let's go around the table and talk a little about it. I'm going to ask you all. So, the Brony community tends to be rather diverse. So, where do you all spend your time when taking in uh, pony material? Was it message boards or image boards, forums? I don't know. Where do you guys like to hang out? Backslasherton, let's start with you. Uh, hi. I, that's me. I, I like to hang out on fimfiction.net. That's literally where I spend, like, the entirety of my time in this that's also where I found out about Doom Pie Network, because uh, the author of the Journey of Grave series put out saying that uh, Entrapulation was doing a video on this. And I saw, oh, well, I, I think I saw that channel once, like, two years ago. Go check it out. And then I saw that they were taking up positions. I'm like, I, why not? All right, cool. All right, what about you, Andy? I tend to jump around. I started off on 4chan, that's actually how I learned about this show, and, well, you got your cliche story of how you became a brony, but then, I started, I just abandoned 4chan, it sucks. Anyway, so then I went on to Fim Fiction. I wrote a little, edited a little, but then I just kind of dropped out of existence. I'm still there occasionally, but, uh, and then, just moved over to YouTube, because most of the content I watch or produce is there, and... My in or my downloads folder is full of like hundreds of videos I will never watch, but I keep telling myself I'll watch sometime. But I don't know. I think I'll eventually just unsubscribe from a bunch of people. I don't know. Winar, what about you? Uh, well, basically, it's been the same since I started YouTube. I pretty much linger on YouTube my entire life. So, and what about you, Slip? I uh, heard about the show from a uh, YouTube from a YouTube video, uh, which somebody replaced the dragon's model in Skyrim <laughs> with Fluttershy, uh, and I found that rather interesting. <laughs> Wait, and, and I thought it was was it a guy from Smosh Games? No, it wasn't. Okay, I don't think so. In any case, uh, I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I I didn't even know it was My Little Pony until I actually I didn't didn't have the audio on. I saw it. <laughs> I just came across it, and I was, I've was i been hanging around Reddit for a couple of years now. And I saw it kept getting uh, brought up over time. So uh, I, I, was, I hung around uh, the My Little Pony subreddit on Reddit. Uh, spent some time around there. I always just kind of hung around there just because I like the art and the videos that come out of there. Uh, but I've spent some a little time recently on Slash MLP Slash just because there's some entertainment that comes out of it every now and then. But... Not too often. Uh, but I've distanced myself from the show lately, kind of just staying to fan fiction and fan-created content. I just recently, uh, like, binged all of season four because I really didn't want to... Because I, I just stopped enjoying the show. But uh, I don't know. Season four was good enough. So that's what we're going to talk about then is uh, one of the episodes from season four. Depending on how this goes, how the reception is, we might... Uh, cover a few more episodes. I'm not really feeling it. The whole analysis and review community really, they really got it covered, and I don't really see any reason for another channel uh, to dive into that hole. We just need head cannons everywhere. Screwed as that is. So, uh, any, yeah, yeah, head cannons everywhere. So, uh, anybody else got any questions they want to know about each other? No, I mean, unless you guys got anything, I think we can just move on. Unless you guys want to uh, tell us how you became. Brony, but I don't think anyone really cares. Not particularly. <laughs> um, alright. Then, let's start uh, going with the episode. So, today's episode was the Equestria Games, and it was another Spike episode, which, for me, I Agreed. thought was one of the better Spike episodes. I, I hate every single Spike Definitely. episode, but yeah. this was well, yeah. uh, slightly better. It seems better. to be yeah. weird that 
they would spend like most of the entire show building up to the um, equestrian games like with random episodes and then they would build up to a yeah. spike episode at first I was really pissed off about that but yeah um, I'm not sure how I feel but now I liked it a lot but now what I have to say is they made a huge deal out of equestrian games and they said that this was gonna be they acted like it would be a big season finale and then they just kind of like skip over the whole games themselves, and it's just a spike episode. Yeah. They don't even put detail into it, unless it's going to be like last last season where like the last two episodes is like one from one point of view, Spike's point of view, and one from the rest of their point of view. But I don't, I don't think they're going to do that. But it was just kind of like it was more of a letdown because they never even focused on the whole thing that they were advertising. Yeah, the only thing was they really happen. looked at was the ice, so, the ice know. archery, which I did like, but they moreover just explained that real quick and moved yeah. on. It was more of a plot development thing for so that uh, Spike could do something like that. It was less. This is what the games does. It was. It wasn't really anything mm -hmm. special. Yeah, I did notice that they they are seeming to make Derpy a character that is actually like cross-eyed because she was blatantly in the middle of one episode with her eyes crossed, and I think they've finally gotten over the fact that people will get mad about that. But there's nothing that they're they're gonna get mad about anything, so I think they're just gonna go and make make the Bronies happy. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's another one of those Tumblr and action things. Because I think they honestly pissed off more people by getting rid of her. Than they, yeah, did, they did fixing her. It's also blustered. It's also, although she's, she was always a character that I mean, up until the last roundup, I mean, all of her actions were she was had entirely situational comedy, and it was always dropping anvils on Twilight or whatever it was. And I think, yeah, her character is that it was absolutely fine, just keeping it that way. Well, her character was also always in the background. If you looked, her eyes were always crossed when she was in the background, but when she was front and center, they had to straighten them. Until recently, they decided, screw that. If you get offended by this, you're weird. But they didn't make her talk, if you noticed. So I guess, I mean, maybe she just had, that's their way of getting around that. She's just yeah. cross eyed so I don't know. Uh, I've seen a, a theory put up about about why they don't have her talk at all is because if you know in syndicated versions to Netflix, uh, she has a edited voice, uh, which was what is this more uh, girlier, both of which were done by Tabitha Saint Germain, but in the original airing of it, it was a more kind of guy voice, and that's what Tabitha yeah. thought it was. She thought it was a guy character that she was voicing, but it didn't end up being, and so I think if people returned it. You know, what kind of voice would she have? And that's kind of the thing I've seen in Equestria Girls 2 is how are they going to handle this uh, vinyl scratch thing? Because she's never had a voice actor before, nor has she ever been a major part of the story. But there's been a couple voice actresses in the fandom that have made a significant uh, mark on the character, neither of which which would ever even um, be considered honestly, it would for be playing the actual rather role. rather amazing if they actually like hired Nawa King or something. Someone else rather... Um, widely considered to be vinyl to be, do it but also it may actually split the fandom down the middle because some people are more concerned with like just how she acts and will actually get offended by her voice or her getting a voice role because i don't know people find a way to be offended to almost anything yeah you yeah. can't personally that. i think i'd prefer for her to stay silent it's just i think it would just keep a lot of people you know less angry I've seen some things uh, posted on slash MLP slash that were like people claiming that they were excerpts from the script I mean they could be faked but that they would uh, they would have Vinyl Scratch or rather DJ Pond 3 to be communicating with everybody when she does by text message which I don't I don't know the validity to that but it seems it seems like it would if work if she's going to have to talk at all it'd be through that it would make sense right. but they don't have phones well, I mean, yeah. in Equestria Girls verse, they do. Well, yeah, but that's because they're humans, and they also had cars, and they had modern stuff in there. So I guess they're assuming and they had YouTube. Oh man, do you guys remember oh, Brad's yeah. car from see from the yeah. first movie? God, I want to be dude, inside that thing, dude. There was like I went, it was like Barnes and Nobles, and there was a book they had took the movie and made into a children's book. Yeah, <laughs> why I don't know, I but that. they got everything wrong in it. And his car, Brad's <laughs> car, was red. <laughs> and, it, and the book 
I'm like, no one. <laughs> okay. And my sister was like looking at me weird because I kept saying, it's wrong. It's not how it should be. And I got some weird looks. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to uh, the episode. So. Yeah, that was way off time. Oh, totally forgot that. I mean, it's a Spike episode, so it's easy to forget. Yeah. I, I forget no what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a couple oh. things I did like about the episode was uh, we got to see some of the other uh, – we got to see a little world building from the other nations, nations, provinces, yeah. sectors, the Griffins city-states. Uh, we got to see the representatives from Saddle Arabia, a uh, callback from Season 3. We got to see uh, the Griffins, and uh, we got to see Blue Blood, which I believe is his first appearance in Season 1. And uh oh, I didn't see him. I didn't see like the Saudi Arabia. People oh, they were in the uh, box seats with the princesses. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention through most of the episode because my friends were making me do stuff on a server yeah. for Minecraft. Well, Cause that I'm happened, and then we also got to see some other gowns. One of which kind of reminded me of uh, I don't even know what I would say. Like whatever the culture that Nib that the Naboo thing is based off in Star Wars, it reminded me of that. You know, um, there was actually a really kind of a cool concept in there. It shows that there was like the security things they walked through to cancel out unicorn yeah. magic, which if you think about it, that's actually really cool because that kind of shows they have some level of technology uh, like that. And so that's probably also going to inspire a lot of fan fiction. If I may, uh, just go on a tangent here because I've seen this brought up a little before on, on boards today about the whole uh, thing is that the way I've seen uh, magic work in this uh, universe is much like how people see magic uh, in our universe is that it's more or not is it's not I mean it's not how they view magic in our world it's they see magic as more of like a technology or as like a physical force like how we see gravity or uh, elect electromagnetism as a force they see it uh, magic as like a tool or an energy source which I mean they probably base a lot of their stuff off this so-called magic thing i mean it's probably more understood in their universe than we could we would then it's probably been written about or that we know of i mean it's only been probably drawn out in speculation yeah it kind of it draws its similarities to uh alchemy from like they have their runes and whatnot i've seen that when uh lauren faust was talking about her world building for the show she wanted to create an environment which uh, included all of these things like ancient. I don't gothic? what the hell is this, the architecture oh. based off in Ponyville. Like I don't think that's gothic. I, I want to say gothic or some of it seems Greek, uh, Nordic or, or not Nordic. It looks like yeah, uh, just in Pony in Ponyville alone. I want to say like maybe even like yeah, kinda, uh, it kind of looks like old English medieval like era, German like Germanic the, or the thatched roofs and, and all. Yeah, like the wood and cloth, wood white paneling yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then you have Canterlot, which is a which Renaissance is totally medieval a type Camelot. castle. I didn't uh, know that until I read that in yeah. the fan fiction. I feel yeah. stupid. I didn't know that. <laughs> what? I had really? I was stupid. Okay, I didn't get oh. it. I got all the other seeds. It's like, you know, that's kind of weird name. And then I'm like, I saw somebody where somebody tried to humanize the entire show and change all the names except the names of the characters. And they're Camelot. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just. But so yeah, we have like a. We have Cla Clydesdale. Clydesdale maybe. I don't even know how that even makes any connect to Clydesdale. Like, Clydesdale would have worked <laughs> fine, too. Yeah, but it's rather city, not a flying <laughs> city in the sky. Well, Clydesdale, I'm guessing, bases its architecture off Greek or Roman roots. Uh, probably a combination of those. Yeah, yeah definitely that, because they have the big pillars. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then you have like cities like Manhattan, which are clearly... Yeah. New York, from American which what I thought modern. was probably uh, like 1800s, 1900s uh, New York. I thought it was more like like World War II yeah. era. That's kind somewhere of what it looks I, to I saw me. like I mean I just I based that off like horse drawn carriages. I mean obviously, yeah, but like I just see that free, like around like the time of the industrial yeah, revolution. I was I, that. That's what it looked like to me. Uh, and then you'd have like cities that haven't been seen yet, like uh, Las Pegasus, oh, yeah. which I think is probably obvious what that is. I think they did mention Philadelphia in passing yeah. on the Paris Brights episode, but they never showed it. Yeah, and then there was, uh, yeah. and then we also have cities like uh, uh, Dodge Dodge Junction and Appaloosa are clearly frontier towns. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, in the mild. So yeah, so Lauren was saying like she wanted a world where she could go to all of these places at any (laughs) time and make uh, interesting stories. Yeah, I don't know where. Yeah, but they haven't really like touched upon any other but of the main three locations crystal empire canterlot and ponyville they haven't really gone outside of that too much they went to manhattan in like one or two episodes and they did uh cloudsdale i think twice or three times but yeah but they're like very brief and they didn't really like go into detail about it like i know when they they did did the the whole whole, uh they did plot with in um but it wasn't like enough to get a giant view of like how extensive the city's backstory could be and stuff like that but it was enough to kind of tell, like, hey, this is, like, medieval, medieval era town. and But it wasn't, <laughs> they didn't, not medieval, Wild West, like, kind of Western themed and, like, shootouts in the front and, like, high noon kind of thing. Yeah. But they didn't really, I think, they, but I think when they made, like, the Griffin characters, they kind of hint, in, like, Saddle Arabia, they're kind of hinting, we can go out. And that's kind of, like, the whole box thing. Maybe they need to travel I want to see an episode in the Griffin the stuff, Which would kind of be interesting. Yeah, because if people, a lot of people say that they're like, I've seen a lot. How many, how many of you guys have seen like a ton of controversy over yeah. what the culture of the Griffins are? I've seen a lot of it that it's based off uh, the nomad, no, off nomadic people because they, what is it? Is it the Griffin Kingdom? Yeah. Isn't it? They said. Yeah, I think I've so. seen a lot of fan work based off like uh, having extremely mountainous ranges, kind of like in Greece. Yeah. Like they have like a city state type of government. I've seen the head cannon is put off like that a lot i i saw a really weird one it was in a fan fiction they decided that uh the griffin kingdom was entirely off honor <laughs> and therefore their culture is japan yeah which was out of nowhere i'm like why how does japan and they're like samurai armor you know what someone someone needs to take that and make like a shadow warrior fan fiction <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd probably end up reading it Ugh. I don't. Know. I don't really want to read hands, but uh we lost Indy. Oh wait, uh, yeah. we'll get him back. Uh-huh. Yeah, no wonder he's been quiet. Yeah, I totally didn't hear what I said, guys. You, you didn't. I heard that. it totally. I heard it. I'm not. I'm not. No, shut up! I'm not reading anything. I'm keeping it in there. <laughs> I seriously haven't recorded a single video. He is recording hands, people. He is going to be the one who will read the rest of hands for you. Oh, good luck. I'm not sure if me and Slip were going to... Slip was talking, like, what if we did, like, a thing to transition between me and Doom Pie? Like, Doom Pie gets punched in the throat and his voice changes. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, whoa. Andrew, what the hell happened to your voice? Like, I don't know. I sound like a girl now, though. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the one thing though, I hope just so you know, guys, don't expect impressions out of me because I can do slight crappy accents, but it's nothing more than that. I would do one, but I feel it would more offend anybody than anything else. Oh come on, you okay? We've totally lost Andy. Um, isn't he on his phone? Yeah. I'll try to get him back now. Yeah. Well, we can continue. We have to Sorry keep going on. Yeah, we gotta go. Okay, well, uh, the show must oh, go he back. He's, he's back. back. Randomly back. decided to stab me in the ass. Well, that was fast. Well, everybody, Andy's back from the dead, so uh, we're gonna keep going now. Well, uh, regarding the whole city states thing, I now have this headcanon that because every individual place has their national anthem, that they're like, the whole place is just this one big. Every individual place is its own little country, city, state kind of thing, because they each have their own anthem, and there aren't anthems for the individual states of the U.S. or anything like that, or at least not that I know of. Yeah. I'm guessing that was a yeah. I'm guessing that's a plot point, but that's a good point to add to the. If Ponyville is its own country, then well. I'd like to have a talk with the Secretary of Defense. No shit. <laughs> Yeah. I think Mayor Mayor just kind of threw Twilight into that role a couple episodes ago. But, uh, yeah. I know that, like, I don't think it's... They could be states, though. I think... But I don't think it's like that. But if it was, I know Texas has its own separate pledge from the United States pledge. But, uh... That's pledges, not anthems. We have our state song, I think. No, I don't think we do. No, we have, like, state dances, state birds, freaking... 
State yeah. Gems. Washington, the State place Gems. I live in, Washington State Gems is <laughs> Petrified Wood. <laughs> I'd say I'd make a joke about Viagra here, but I don't know how to go about it. Nailed it. There you go. Close enough. Yep. Nailed it. That was actually that one redeeming part. Yeah. Of that whole <laughs> thing that Spike did. I, I, I skipped yeah, that. Whole I skipped song. it. I was like, I don't even care if there's anything important in here. Just nope. I just I could not I could not listen to that. Like in the song, they could have at least like changed the animation instead of just having it focus on Spike the whole time. Like most of the time, I liked when it panned the audience and showed their expressions because a lot of those were quite entertaining. But shouldn't have just showed him that much. Wait, so remind me, remind me how exactly we got from the, an the anthem to religion. Because it's a fucking Spike episode, that's why. <laughs> but what else is there to talk about? A dragon, he's kind of purple. Uh, we got to see Celestia for the first time since the premiere. There was that. Uh, we don't, we, we don't, Luna, L Celestia and Luna. You don't see much of Luna, actually. Well, we got to see more got of her to this see shining armor. We got to see more of her this but... season than last. Or, uh, we got to see more yeah, of Luna this true. season than Celestia. We haven't yeah, seen Flash true. Sentry in like a million episodes. A Good. Million, like, saw, people it was don't like, like it. Episode eleven, we saw him. I <laughs> shoot that so hard. <laughs> what flashlight? Yeah. Or flashlight? <laughs> Oh good god! god. No, that's the clock chip. Okay. Whatever, man. No, that's flashlight. I don't even care. Flash, uh, flash sentry can steal my waifu. It's totally okay. The same friend actually made an OC for me, named uh, Victor Sentry because winner one hundred. So. <laughs> this... Okay, yeah, is it worry, bad I if I don't get it? Winner Victor Sentry one hundred. Oh, no, I don't get it. Is that well, I tried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still. I don't get the connection. I don't get I'm supposed to be a smart person. Well, so am I. I make decent grades when I put effort in. I don't. When I try. Yeah. Look, I'm in advanced math, not advanced <laughs> understanding things. <laughs> oh, advanced <laughs> math, you poor soul. Advanced understanding things. Isn't that called high school? I found out that all my advanced placement classes and all that stuff, whenever I was in those, didn't matter for shit once I actually went to college. Because I had to take those classes anyway, and they didn't count. So you just had to take the credit. same stuff over? So that's how much that's well, mine. me. Pretty much. That was my first semester in college. I mean, I got it out of the way, and I got decent grades, but I still had to do it. And it didn't matter for shit that I took any AP classes. I still got into the class, still got still got a grant or what scholarship or whatever, and that was that. That was probably the only benefit. So speaking of scholarships, about <laughs> the Spike episode again. Um, uh, please make this connect. <laughs> what, because Twilight's a scholar? I guess, what, whatever, whatever makes the segue work. Okay, Twilight's a scholar, scholar is in scholarship, therefore it works. Take go. note, kids, if you're a grad student for the ruler of your land, all you gotta do is suck up to her enough and you can become ruler of the land too. Let's spoil the finale for everybody. Spike dies. Everybody <laughs> dies. Princess Big Mac. Twilight marries Discord. <laughs> Twilight marries Discord. Celestia dies. Big Mac becomes a princess. Spike gets, I don't uh, know, Spike cancer. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. Oh my god. Uh, Dude, I searched Princess B, and it <laughs> immediately came up with Princess Big Mac. Uh, Twilight calls out Rainbow Dash for being a cunt. Pinkie Pie overdoses on heroin. Rarity gets really fat. You guys look at that picture and then continue talking. Sweetie Belle. We need to put that up on the screen during oh the video so they could see what that. Oh, my God. okay. Oh boy. Sexy ass. Sweetie candy. Belle starts singing death metal. Apple Bloom gets pregnant. Uh, Scoot it's Scootaloo's child. She turns out to be a man. Uh, Scootaloo's father is Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore these images I'm putting in chat. Oh, God. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you search things up you don't want to see, guys. I've seen the worst now this the... fandom has, so I don't even care. And no matter how, how bad you've seen it, there's always going to be something worse.
Okay, this has nothing to do with anything, but uh, my, uh, pretty much the uh, story of every Tumblr user everywhere. I just got this on my dashboard. Why is a porn blog following me? Ancient Tumblr <laughs> user proverb. <laughs> <laughs> All too true. I don't know. The first time I start started on Twitter, I had like four porn stars following me, which I get it. They're just advertising themselves. Uh, who's following? Some random like gaming thing is following me on Twitter. How do I have six followers? Applebee's <laughs> followed me on Twitter. <laughs> they do it for advertising. I mean, I know I've gone to Applebee's several times, but they don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. Somebody followed me because their name is the same as mine. <laughs> Dude, you go on FinFix and a guy's name is Backslash and he followed me. This guy... Okay, I can't say who this guy is because then, uh, you know, you'll know my real name and I don't like that. Well, they these guys, these assholes here know my name, but... I mean, what? I didn't say that out loud. His name's Ashley. <laughs> and I am beautiful. Ashley Tisdale? Yeah. No, Ashley <laughs> Bill Cosby. He, he clops to twist. <laughs> Who the hell is your profile picture on Skype? Um, That's my friend, and I use the Hasbro website where you can put your face on a My Little Pony character from Equestria. <laughs> I'll leak... That sounds terrible. It Why is... Am I here? He said that to, he said the pic the, the original picture it was a picture of me and him making a really bad selfie and we sent it to his girlfriend mm. when she was in China. I'm assuming that's what caused the breakup. Uh, no, they're still together. Uh, somehow. Wait, they should get married in China cuz when they throw rice it'll be pork fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all wow. of you. <laughs> I love the first thing I noticed about Equestrials when I saw the designs. Because I thought they were going to, like, assign, like, human races to them. Like, they're like, oh, you'd have, I don't know, obviously AJ is a white person, and it's going to be something yeah. weird, like... What would Rarity, Rarity be? turns Mexican? out Mexican? I... <laughs> 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 like, she, like, she fakes her English accent. Like, I figured she'd be, like, white, and then you'd have, like, Pinky be, like, black or something, what? And, like, out of nowhere. Dude, I, I've seriously seen so many people say, dude, they're, in my mind, they've always been white. I don't know, Twilight Season. I just associate it based off voice actress, honestly. Because, it, I mean, all the voice actresses are white, so... I mean, there you go. I, I don't really see that. Don't... Hey, the they got Zakora though. Go then. Well, yeah, she's the only, like, black character on this Pretty show. Pretty sure she's the only black voice actress on that stuff. <laughs> why is my camp... Why is this picture, like, What about Flutter Guy? Just... Uh, Fluttershy would obviously be French. Okay, what about Flutter Guy? Flutter Guy? Wait, wait, wait. Flutter Guy or Fudashai? Um, no, wait. neither. Well, <laughs> Fudashai, eh. Fud I ship Fudashai with Winona the Talking Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to forget seeing that fan fiction. That's probably a very happy watermelon. Oh, my God. Remember what you guys typed in the chat one day? I don't. Oh, remind me. Um. Uh, well, yeah. it was like a thing. <laughs> you guys tried oh, yeah, to make the, the thing I posted. The Mando Pony rape pic. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> it was literally. I was more surprised you guys put the amount of effort you did into it. I think we were gonna name it something <laughs> racist. I don't know. All right. So I once read a fan fiction called "A Fun Day." It's a skewed abuse fix. It's basically a fic where us. Uh, Oh, the main six totally uh, beat the shit out of Scootaloo and Killer. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, what basically happens... Ah, here it is. I'm going to post it in the chat. What basically happens is uh, everybody hates Scootaloo, like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So the main six resolve to kill her, but they're not just going to stop there. Every time they do kill her, it's either uh, Twilight that revives her with magic, or Pinkie Pie oh, injects her with this. adrenaline. We were talking about this, yeah. Yeah. So... Look in, you just look at that fanfiction that I put in the chat. It is, uh... Um, I'm scared. No, it's nothing, like, disturbing, <laughs> except for the, uh, potato grammar. It had, oh my, it was an ordinary day in ordinary human world where he lived, again, the same as a regular guy, a musician. His life would be so boring and stayed, but suddenly in his apartment there were three colts, Sweetie Bell, Okay, I'm going Apple Bloom. I'm going to read Scutelu, one... Epilblum. Let me see if I can find my favorite part here. What? Is this, like, purposely like this, right? No. 
I don't. Well, how do so. you mess? <laughs> how do you misspell Scootaloo and Apple and Apple Bloom? This is like Spider. This guy is Sc Scut Scutaloo Apple Bloom. Apple -see Apple Seekers. What is this? What is <laughs> Mark Finders? This has got to be like purposely <laughs> terrible. My God, how did this get through moderation? I think because he marked it as comedy. <laughs> oh my God. I know this author. I actually read one of his. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He just had the same. He just happened to have the same art as. <laughs> Please, everybody read. Everybody read a fun day. It'll just make your life so much better knowing that Scootaloo is just a little bitch. Okay, I found. It's, uh. At one point, a character says. Oh, oh, I'm afraid it's too late. Tomorrow they begin a tour, and more of them you will never take. Do not even try. I'm not the problem. <laughs> we'll change the SIM card for this. Have a good day. <laughs> what? He turns Dude, you know into tech support. <laughs> you know what's really funny to do? You guys know the the process, the website called Gizoogle? No. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So... This is I put my little dashi into the website Transizzle thing, and yeah. this is um this is what this is the final letter to her dad, like the really depressing part. So if one of you could read that out loud, that would be fantastic. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait, what's the website <laughs> called? Gizoogle. <laughs> or Jizoogle. I'm sorry. Jizoogle. I I want to go on that website. It's Jizoogle.net. Uh, Let me put. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, this is the final. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm going. I got. I can do. Okay, do you have it? <laughs> Dad, for 15 years you took care of me. For 15 years you loved me, played with me, and made sure I enjoyed my life in a world that where I was not. No, that was not meant to house me. I'm not a mayor of many words, but even though I told bullshit, but even though I've told you this in person, I felt you needed a written version of it so you will know how much how much it was all real. Ugh. I love you, Daddy. You helped me shape me into the mayor I am now, and I'm not sure what's what's going to happen if I will remember any of this or not. But I will. Ugh, but I want you to know that you did a darn good job of raising me, even if I was a bit stubborn at times and short with you during others. With Celestia's permission, I hope to allow you to keep our photos, our memories with you so that you will never be forget so that you will never forget. Again, I love you and thank you. Your little da daughter as always, your little dashy Rainbow Dash. Ah, your little dashy forever Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Get it right. Okay. Fine. Next is the Gazoogled okay. version, the <laughs> gangster Gazoogled. gangster fight one. Yo. Uh, okay, somebody give me a beat. <laughs> no, because this is <laughs> No. No. Okay. <laughs> Just... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, somebody sent me a message. Okay. Okay. D Dad, for 15 motherfucking years, you took care of my dirty ass. For 15 motherfucking years, you love me, played with me, and made me sizzle. And sh <laughs> made me shizzle. I enjoyed my game up in a ghetto, not meant to doggy done my dirty ass. <laughs> I'm not a man of enough your lyrics. But but even though I hauled it up in your person, I felt you needed a gang bang and freestyle version of it. So your big ass booty is gonna the shizzle us all. Re it gets worse. I got I got I got a straight up boner for your daddy. Your ass helped shape me the motherfucker the mayor I am now. No mean bitch. I'm not shizzle what the fuck is going to happen if I remember any of this <laughs> or not. But I want you to know that you the thugged out darn fat thing of raisin. <laughs> it says raisin like a... The... <laughs> <laughs> Keep reading. Even if I was a little bit stubborn at times and short with you than others... With Celestia's permission, I hope to allow you to keep our photos, our memories, with you so that you ain't never gonna forget faux reels. Again, I got a straight up boner for you. <laughs> <laughs> Give props to your thugged out ass. Y'all crazy little daughter. Da always. Crazy ass little daughter. <laughs> you crazy ass little dashy forever. Rainbow dash. That is like my favorite thing to do is just take oh links of God. just take links of stories and chapters and just put them through that and read them to myself. That was some dope. Oh. 
<laughs> that needs to be a new series. Make it happen. All right. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anything to get popularity out of these tweebs, right? Ugh. I think we need to end it because this is like 50 minutes yeah. long. Yeah. All right. Let's end it, guys. It's been oh. great talking to you all. Uh, we hope that our <sighs> readers enjoyed this a little bit. Oh, uh, I think the you're, not, you're not the readers. You're the listeners. Yeah, you, you said that in the beginning, shit. too. <laughs> Oh, whatever. You oh, you still it. need to put those pictures uh, up. Our readers don't do shit. They just put on our videos and play Minecraft. <laughs> that's me. I know, because that's what I do. Yeah. But if we don't put those pictures up on the screen, you need to at least link them in the description. Because those are I'll funny make this. Pictures. I'll make this video look pretty. You make it look pretty, girlfriend. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, that's the end of the episode. Here. You're all going home now, right? Goodbye, listeners, yeah. motherfucker. Thanks for listening. All right, Farewell. I'm Slipnir. Uh, someone else is the Ender Brony. Someone else is then the other two. All right, <laughs> done it. We're out. We're out. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.